Last week I was in Hartwell, Georgia. Traveling without much on the way to Gary's, this is all I'm taking. One bag. Gary's got camera equipment. I'm bringing a GoPro in here and my phone, and that's it. My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat, arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this, the wooden boat experience. If you find you're not hearing about videos, click all in the notifications. The bell by the subscribe button is where it is. Why did I go to Georgia? We epoxied both wood and fiberglass boats while we were in Gary's shop. I visited Jimmy Grant's boat shop to learn how to rebuild the Paragon transmission, the one off of the Flywheel Forward 283 that came out of the sea skiff. What's it for? Because everybody. Pick up truck. Right. Nice. Roller out. bearings and everything. It's a little out of balance. Gary and I rebuilt the starter off of my Lyman. I will have full videos of both the starter and transmission rebuild later on. Gary even managed to get a few Patreon members over to visit. Here are some of the other things I did in more detail. Jimmy Grant and I moved two of his many old boats into safer, long-term storage. So why is this one going inside? Oh, okay. And so I gotta put it on their trailer so they put the forklift. So you're gonna lift it up with a chain hoist and stuff? Yeah.
forklift. taking a look at everything making sure a squirrel hasn't been in there You got to video stuff like this. Look I at this nice you, work. Holy cow. Know. Holy bung, Batman. There's yeah. a lot of bungs here. <laughs> So this is this is a hacker, a what? dual cockpit hacker. Yeah. How how long is this? Uh, Nineteen foot. But look at the nose on this thing just dives off like crazy. Yeah. And uh, Brian thirty seven doesn't do it like that. Uh, is that the old boat behind you up in the rack? Is that the hacker? Yeah, that's the old, that's There's the, the old, that's the old wood. There's the old boat. Yeah. <laughs> It was a little gray, maybe. Yeah, a little bit. On the gray side. <laughs> Heck, that's half an episode right there. I literally probably have filmed enough for four to five episodes so far. And sometimes when you first start doing this, when you get to these places, you're like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. And it all seems to, if you got the right person involved, it all seems to work out.
No pressure, Gary. You're just on camera. I can wreck it just as good on camera as I can. Well, one thing's for sure, you've got right hand rotation. Good. That swim platform had to be close. Thanks, Gary, for everything on this trip. And Yoon for all the good food. So, if you wanted to leave this boat in the water, could you? I would. It's been in the water for a year now. So, what, do you put any like uh, light bulb or anything in? Just the water doesn't. Put them all, keeps it warm. Oh, okay. The lake never gets below about 60. Uh-oh, the, the boss is here. Well, it was 12 degrees at my house yesterday, so I figured while I'm here, I better take a ride. <laughs> yeah. The trip home didn't go as well. No problem in the first leg, but I ended up not in Ogdensburg, but in Syracuse, and much later than I expected to get at home. I stayed at my daughter's and got to spend Friday with her until Mary picked me up. So it was actually a win. And now for the season four big announcement. I have been thinking about building a Garwood Speedster replica. That was until I saw this boat, Bug Bite, and fell in love with it. It was designed in the 1930s by A.A. A. Appel. This single step hydroplane was featured in the Ideal Book Series, volume 17. Those were done by Motor Boating Magazine. I found a copy and will use the plans and the table of offsets from the book. Bug Bite was built by Kevin Fitzke of FitzkeBoatWorks.com. You really need to check out his site. I talked with Kevin about his build and he agreed to field questions when they come up for mine. Hopefully I can visit his shop. I've already begun collecting items for the build including the 283 small block Chevy, flywheel forward, Chris Craft engine. That's the transmission I just rebuilt. It's all done, except for some minor things that it's going to happen later. But see, what you do in America is, you, know, you actually take, oh, you're done. Go ahead. You actually take a lock washer and one of these narrow flat washers. Yep. Now, I've got to finish unbeknownst, clear out the boat shed, loft the plans, and look forward to September. But not look forward to it too much. There's a whole summer in between. I'll see you guys next week, episode 13. Oh, and what will this boat be called? Why, Miss Chippewa, of course.